How Dove Cameron Spends Her Millions We don't want to blame anything on the Kardashians, but the pressure to emulate their lifestyle is infectious, and some lesser-known celebrities don't realize that other stars are getting a lot of stuff for free. Some celebrities get paid to be at basketball games, $25,000 or $50,000 just to sit there for two hours. Of course, Dove Cameron doesn't land in the lesser-known category. Welcome to Riveted, and we'll be breaking down how she spends her millions. Background. Dove Cameron was born in a family of two children. She has an older sister named Claire Hosterman. Her parents, who later got divorced, raised both her and Claire in Bainbridge Island, Washington. Dove Cameron and her family moved to Los Angeles, California, United States of America, when she was 14 years old. One year later, she lost her dad to suicide, but she'd already started landing jobs for her incredible talent. In 2014, she joined the cast of Cloud9. Dove starred as Kyla Morgan in this television film. In 2015, she landed a role in Descendants. She played the role of Mal in this television film and reprised the role for the sequels. Well, there are dozens of other films which collectively earned her a lot of money, and here's a breakdown of how she spends the money. Her house with Thomas Dougherty. It all started in December of 2016, when Thomas shared a video on Instagram of the pair sharing food together. Fans speculated these two were definitely more than friends when Dove visited Thomas in London in January 2017. He posted this flirty shot of her behind a hotel or apartment door. Soon afterward, they decided that the long-distance relationship was too much for them and decided to get a house together. The median home in the U.S. cost $186,100. The range for celebs is $3.5 to $20 million, and their house is probably somewhere in the celebrity range. We know that a luxurious home comes with extravagant expenditures and maintenance. Well, Dove and Dougherty are definitely not complaining about their expensive house, and they seem to be loving their time together in the house. She's always expressed how happy she was to work with Dougherty and still go home with him. At one time, when she went home from rehearsals, she was super shocked when she saw what Dougherty had done with the house. She exclaimed, Came home last night after our final dress rehearsal for At Lit P Musical to find this little sprig had cleaned the whole house, done all my laundry, and folded it, Filled the house with candles and the pantry with all of my favorite comfort foods. Talk about boyfriend of the year, plastic surgery. Looking beautiful certainly comes at a price, and many celebrities have paid the price for it. Some followers say that the only reason that Dove looks so eye-catching on display is since she's had aesthetic improvements such as rhinoplasty, lip fillers, as well as breast enhancement. Dove Cameron looked way different before the age of 14, and when she changed her name, it looked like she also changed her appearance. Her changes might not jump out at first glance, but if you look closely, they are there. The nose, the lips, maybe even the cheeks. People nowadays are capable of getting dimples through surgery. It's just shocking. At the age of 15, she most probably had a nose job done. The first thing that you'll definitely think is fake of the singer is her nose. It was way different back in the past and was a bit thick, but at present, her nose is pointed downwards, giving her face a unique finish due to its appearance. There's no chance that isn't rhinoplasty. Her lower lip indicated some interventions were already happening, even at the tender age of 16, and by 2014, her lips were already full. Well, this is not bad news because we've seen it with other celebrities like Kylie and Kendall Jenner, Bella Hadid, Nicola Peltz, and Bella Thorne. We know that getting plastic surgeries are no child play, so it must have cost Dove a lot of money to look the way she does now. In case you're wondering if her mom approved of the plastic surgery, we have reason to believe that she definitely did. The mom had no problem relocating the whole family for the sake of Dove's career, so a few things for beauty enhancement was definitely not a big deal for her. Tattoos as the American actress and singer Dove Cameron doesn't seem to be afraid of the knife. She also surely isn't afraid of the needle. So far, she has eight tattoos, and she'll probably be getting more ink. Dove and her friend Kiersey Clement have inked a tattoo on their pinky finger knuckle, which matches to one another's. Clement has an O on her right little finger knuckle, whereas Cameron has an X on her left little finger knuckle. The letter X represents hugs, and O is for kisses. The star has a little sun drawn on her ring finger of her right hand. The tattoo is a symbol of energy and life. Her boyfriend, Thomas Dougherty, has a similar tattoo on his leg. Last year on her birthday, Dove invited a tattoo artist to the party to have all her friends inked, and that must have cost her a couple of thousand dollars, including the food and the drinks. Well, her other birthdays are usually lit as well, and that's where some of the cash goes to. Apart from the two tattoos, Dove has six other tats. She has two on either side of her hips, a snake on her finger, another one on her leg, and two on her wrists. There's no telling when she'll be adding another tiny mark on her body. According to Dove, all the tattoos on her body represent different milestones and occasions in her life, and it's acceptable. We're just wondering how many more she'll have to represent every special moment in her life. Her dressing. 
We know that celebrities get dressed by fashion designers, but they also own a couple of outfits bought from their pockets. Dove Cameron arrived at the Vanity Fair Oscar party in Beverly Hills wearing a Deem Fall Winter 2019 gown with Serpenti earrings and Serpenti bracelet, both by Bulgari. Dove Cameron posted at Teen Vogue's Young Hollywood Party, presented by Snap, held at the Los Angeles Theater, wearing a Gian Battista Valley Ruffle polka dot tulle dress, $2,580, an antique Victorian diamond cluster ring, $1,850, black diamond filigree ring, $1,850, and antique Georgian crown heart diamond ring, $7,950, all from Belladora, and Stuart Weitzman, and nudist sandals at $425. She attended the premiere of Assassination Nation at Arclight Hollywood, wearing an Alexander Wang Rouched mini dress, $895, two Norman Silverman three-row diamond cuff stacked bracelets, and Clargiri Vionica and suede ankle strap platform, $248. She also attended the Harper's Bazaar celebration of icons by Kareen Rotfield, held at the Plaza Hotel in New York wearing a Monique Lulier sequin cocktail dress, $3,295. Jacob & Company 18-karat diamond oval hoop earrings, $17,995. Judith Lieber Couture snakeskin box clutch, $1,495. And Casa de Plexi Blade sandals at $870. Her hair... So we've already covered her face, but Dove has also been experimenting a lot on her hair. Dove shocked her fans with different shades on her hair until 2016 when she decided to go platinum blonde. It was her signature look for a while until recently when she dyed her hair lilac. It was also around the same time she decided to get a painful ear piercing. Fans have told her that she looked terrific, but we know that celebrities don't just walk into regular beauty shops. It must have cost her a couple of dollars to enhance her appearance. She shared a video on her Instagram and showed off how she laughed through the painful process. In another post, Dove showed off her piercings, a tiny stud in her upper cartilage, and a conch piercing adorned by a slim hoop. Vacations. The 23-year-old Descendant star was shamed by Instagram users who thought her braless picture might be inappropriate for some of her young followers. However, they seemed to miss the poignant point Cameron was making with her posts, which were captioned with feminist quotes about introducing feminism to a younger generation. Okay, that is far from the vacations we're talking about. After working so hard to keep everyone entertained, it's only fair for the star to take time off at a quiet, beautiful place. At the beginning of the year, Dove Cameron escaped the cold weather in New York City for a little bit to enjoy a fantastic vacation in Jamaica with her boyfriend, Thomas Dougherty. Dove and her beau Thomas Dougherty spent some quality time in their private cabana while vacationing in Jamaica at the luxury included sand South Coast, which has been hailed as the Caribbean's leading honeymoon resort by the World Travel Awards. We are sure that it wasn't the only time she went on vacation, and we know that she plans on going on other holidays in the future. And we know that she plans on going on other holidays in the future. Music! Have you visited Dove's Instagram account lately? Yeah, she has deleted all her posts. Fans have lost archive photos on Instagram, but they got something to make up for it. The confirmation of new music coming before the end of the month. The young star wiped every single picture from her Instagram over the weekend to prepare for her next era. Her first post is about the promised new music and an apology for how long it's taken. Using a handwritten letter, Dove wrote, want to start by saying that I know it's been six years that I've been promising, teasing, music, and that I know my handwriting is terrible. It's been the strangest, most varied, twisted journey to get to this point, but I'm so glad that it was. Every time I tried in the past, it was never quite right and always a compromise of some kind. And while this is only the start of it, for the first time in my young career, life, I finally feel like I see who I am reflected in something I'm sharing with the world. That's incredibly gratifying and novel to me, if not a little terrifying and humbling. To those of you who have been waiting, thanks for your patience and support. This first release is the end of Music Month, but the start of a whole new era for me as an artist where my music plays a central role and I drop songs and content super regularly. We've waited long enough, you know? And for those of you that follow me but have no idea who I am or what I was planning on releasing music, I hope you hear yourself in some of my stuff. Well, music takes time to produce, but it also takes a lot of money, so we can't really blame Dove for taking your time to finally release her music. We know that she must have invested a lot, but we hope that it brings her more returns in the future. Well, that's how Dove Cameron has been spending her millions, and we'll be keeping you up to date, especially on her new music coming soon. Make sure you subscribe to Riveted to stay up to date.